Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Big Brother and uh, the politics of 1984 trying to rewrite history is getting or has been completely out of hand. Yesterday I received a notice about three videos that I posted from YouTube that were in violation of YouTube policy. Um, I am fighting that. One of them was about the hand sanitizer recall by the FDA. I have carefully been trying to follow the strict 1984 Big Brother policies of censoring myself on YouTube. But some things I feel people have a right and a need to know. So when I got up this morning, I seen this article about Mayor Lori Lightfoot had the Christopher Columbus statue removed from Chicago parks in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, in the middle of the night being secretive so no one could say or do anything in the meantime. Another incident of trying to rewrite history. Uh, you know, and I asked a person on Twitter, just exactly what crimes did Christopher Columbus commit? You know, he was sent back to Europe in chains on a vessel in a hold of a dark, damp vessel. I'm not exactly sure what he did, what crime he committed for uh, the colonists here in the new, uh, new land to send them back in chains. The next Twitter post I found said that six adults teamed up to catch two kids ages 10 and 3 who jumped from a burning building in France. Two adults who caught them broke their arms. Yeah, this is what can happen when people get together to try saving others' lives. And then there was a report on the Epoch Times about a man who was arrested. He was 20 years old, who was photographed kneeling on the neck of a two-year-old boy. And then I found another Twitter post about Christopher Columbus statue being removed from Chicago's Grant Park. Evidently, they're being kept somewhere safe, but how much did it cost to uh, create those statues, and how much did it cost uh, for them to be removed? And that money could have gone to uh, uh, homeless shelters or uh, to kitchens that provide food for the needy, things like that. You know, renaming schools, renaming uh, different buildings. How much is that going to cost because of this Black Lives Matter um, protests and surge in the political movement? You know, yesterday I was talking to my mother on the phone and I told her, you know, racism is something that most people will not unlearn. You know, until that generation... Uh, passes away it's going to continue i have a relative in his 80s who believes that segregation of neighborhoods should remain uh, yeah he doesn't believe in divorce he doesn't like jewish people and did he forget that jesus was a jew you know he goes to church every sunday but being in his 80s he's definitely set in his ways and um, probably not listening to what is being taught from the pulpit. So this is what I posted to a comment. Old man 555 had posted a tweet saying at some point someone felt entitled to put the statue up. Do we have to continue to publicly venerate statues of traitors, villains, and murderers? And I asked the question. I haven't gotten a reply or I haven't seen it yet. And I asked, what is it I was never taught how he was evil? He was sent back in chains from the New World. UFOs followed his trip, and that was recorded in the ship logs. Please tell me, or are you a group from 1984 rewriting history? Are you part of the rat syndrome? Do you know what it is? How many of you know what the rat syndrome is? It was a scientific test done several times over many decades of rats. Long story short, the rats were given as much food and water as they wanted, and eventually the population exploded where they eventually started killing themselves. I think the only thing they lacked was space. Like I said, they had plenty of food and water. But after the population reached a certain point, it exploded. And they still had plenty of food and water. There was no shortage. 
but their mentality seemed to have crashed. And if you want to know more about the rat syndrome, look it up. The next post I found, I wrote, I am fed up. Four juveniles, two adults, arrested after child shot during Henderson crime spree. Another child shot. Another post I found came from Chicago. Girl, three, seriously injured in shooting in South Shore. Another report coming from Oklahoma, Cyprus. 11-year-old shot in face in Cyprus area expected to be okay. Well, thank God for that. Another child shot and killed. Tyler Perry to pay for funeral expenses for a girl shot in Atlanta. She was only 8 years old. Evidently, a bunch of thugs blocked off a road. And when the uh, mother and the daughter encountered it, they were gunned down. Atlanta, Georgia. In Houston, Texas, a three-month-old baby boy was shot outside a home there in northeast Houston. A child shot in bed in home during a crime spree in Henderson. Uh, those involved, thank God, they've been arrested. Another post from this morning, protest against child gun violence ends in gunfire with a child being shot. That evidently happened in Washington, D.C. Five shots were fired. I asked how much will this cost to another post that I found about Fairfax County Robert E. Lee School's new name change. The new name evidently is going to represent uh, John Lewis, who recently passed away uh, this last week. I was surprised to see this, where the White House seeks advice of torture memos, um, author on presidential powers. You know, Obama and Bush and all of them approved of torture to get information from terrorists. And this is the first time that I've seen that mentioned and looked into um, by people there in the White House uh, with President Trump. The article says that President Donald Trump is relying on the outliner interpretation of a recent Supreme Court decision to assert broad new powers as he prepares to sign a series of executive orders in the coming weeks. The expansive view of presidential authority has been promoted by John Yu, a Berkeley law professor known for writing the so-called torture menus that George W. Bush administration used to justify using enhanced interrogation techniques after the 9-11 terror attacks. Which brings me to another point uh, going to this coronavirus and my belief that it is an attempt to decrease the world's population um, and what's going on with China and them closing the embassy there in Texas. Trump clamping down on China, stealing our intellectual property. Well, that's been going on for decades and decades. But my worry is that there has never been a president not reelected during a time of war. And with Trump's polls dropping, yeah, I think that's something we should look out for. Maybe they want a war to decrease the world's population, seeing how the coronavirus didn't do the trick. Just something to think about. All right, evidently at a game uh, during the national anthems for baseball, um, teams from both sides, the Nets and the Yankees, took a kneel in tribute to Black Lives Matter movement. What they should have wore was t-shirts showing the pictures of children shot and killed or maybe those in domestic violence. All lives matter. Another post that came from Chicago, Charles Kurt. According to the left, this is okay, but going to church, visiting your dying relatives, or sending your kids to school isn't. Why the double standard, he asked. Well, this is what happens when you take um, God out of the country. Another Twitter post that I shared. What has become of Chicago? We have a mayor forced into submission by, by anarchy and mob rule. No more public process, official 
discourse or on the record debate the lesson learned is that if you want action from lightfoot show up and mass at her house and she will cave every time some of the replies and one of them was saying that just curious why you're so upset about some meaningless statue of someone as insignificant to our heritage as columbus well to me it's like them wanting to rewrite history to take down statues instead of teaching the history behind it yeah there was racism in this country and to remove it is not going to remove the fact that it happened and continues to happen why aren't they talking about the black on black killings of babies here we have a 13 year old was shot while sleeping in southeast fresno apartment was not the intended target police said life flight responds to child shooting in northwest harris county 11 year old shot in the face these are all shootings killings injuries done to babies done to children within the last day to three days this comes from northeast washington dc four-year-old girl shot on east capitol street 10 year old child shot in face while playing video games that was wednesday 10 years old the same age as my grandson he was in his home playing video games with his younger brother and a shot was fired through the window of their home and he was shot in the face here is a report from ohio of a man who evidently took his two-year-old son toddler to rob a bank he threatened he had a bomb you know children come first and to do this uh, with your children as a shield so to speak is unforgivable jumping to the coronavirus evidently canada and mexico are going to extend um not allowing united states citizens to cross their border you know our government knew about this virus back in november and december when it first broke out there in china no flights no cruises any of that should have been allowed back in november and december if in fact they really wanted to prevent the spread of coronavirus but like i said i believe they want to decrease the world's population another twitter post about the mexican border being closed to u.s citizens it says they're they're tightening checks on travelers coming from texas another baby shot 14 year old boy in st louis midtown uh, it says here that continues a streak of youth hit by gunfire the post dispatch has reported that at least 30 children and teens 17 years old or younger have been shot in this city this year including 11 classified as homicide by police across the metro area this year at least 57 children 17 or younger have been shot in tw including 21 deaths that's in st louis alone this year the report went on to say that if you average out the total numbers for may we're right now seeing a patient being shot every other day. Dr. Lindsay uh, Chucky said, a Washington University pediatric emergency medical physician at St. Louis Children's Hospital told the Post Dispatch in May. So I was getting a little more ticked off and ticked off as uh, the morning wore on, seeing all these shootings of babies. And I posted, here's a thought. Parents sit outside your homes armed to the teeth. Neighborhoods lined with porch sitting families. When someone drives down the road in a drive by shooting, stop the car in a Bonnie and Clyde type of cleanup. Maybe our children need to sleep in cast iron tubs. I also tweeted maybe we need to walk with our children as they play outside armed. AK 47 bazooka launchers, tire spikes maybe streets just need to be closed off to keep children safe nowadays yeah i'm fed up this article today said that they identified the six-year-old boy who was fatally shot 
in the South St. Louis home. They actually don't give his name. Domestic violence programs get $1 billion boost in St. Louis County, where virus cases set a single-day record. This shooting in St. Louis was between two groups, or do you want to call them gangs of people, at a mall, the Galleria Mall there in St. Louis. Uh, one man was shot in the head and the other was shot on in the arm on the escalator. We've become a third world country with all these killings. And if you want to track the hot spots of crime there in St. Louis, yeah, I posted the link to that website. Then about the riots that are going on, the protests going on, as they call it there in Portland. It was bad there 20 years ago as I waited for a bus transfer with my children. Inside the station, three people were stabbed in the door coming in. And it is worse more even now today. Uh, this person was probably just a baby back then. They were talking about how when they were telling them to disperse and shooting the tear gas, uh, people were ignoring them and dancing. And then there was more images, videos of the protests going on there in Portland. And I posted the movie Escape from New York City comes to mind. Let's build the walls around these cities. Angels coming soon looking for the 10 good people. Oh, all right, one. Better leave while you can. And that was a reference to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, God originally wanted to find at least 10 people that were still good in the cities. And uh, when he couldn't, um, it was negotiated down to one. Find one good man in the city and I won't destroy it. So that's what I was referencing to. And if you haven't seen Escape from New York City, it's an old movie, but it's a, a classic. It's a good one. You should watch it. My reply to a post to the Portland mayor, to Trump, it says here, Stop terrorizing us. Stop putting us in danger. Stop de destroying our community. Oh, you're doing a good enough job doing it to yourself in Portland. Two months of protests, burning down buildings and rioting and stealing from people who work hard is not a peaceful protest. And that's been going on for two months. Many people will say, oh, Mary, you should stick with the earthquake reports. Well, all I have to say is on that day, let no one on the rooftop come down to retrieve his possessions. Likewise, let no one in the field return for anything that he left behind. For those who don't know their Bible, that comes from Matthew twenty four eighteen. Yeah, you better get out of Portland while you can. Another uh, Twitter post, I asked a question about the lawlessness and riots in Portland. Do these people work? All right, stop all the food trucks from entering the city where this is happening. I know, extreme. But where are the good people? Hiding? When good people do nothing, they are just as bad. Leave the cities to the hyenas. Referring to, uh, you know, the scavengers and demons and different things like that are spoken of in the Bible. Steve C. posted to look up perilous times in the uh, King James Version of the Bible, 2 Timothy 3.1. So I shared it. Part 1. Mark this. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, self brutal. Not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godlessness but denying its power, have nothing to do with such people. Yeah, why associate yourself with such people? Another recent post says that a judge has blocked federal agents from arresting journalists and legal observers in Portland. Evidently, um, the news media has been targeted. So if you're a journalist going to observe the protests and the riots going on in Portland, you have to be clearly um, 
having clothing and something on you to state that you are a member of the press, etc., or an observer. I believe that because Trump's polls are dropping is why now he is doing a complete 360 on wearing the masks, and now he is saying that schools may need to delay opening. Well, my grandson is not going to go back to school. He's autistic. Everything, he touches everything. He puts everything in his mouth, etc. And no, he is not going back to school. Um, the other children, I don't know yet. But, um, what, four of them are underage, so we don't have to worry about that. And from what I saw... Uh, when my grandson was doing homeschooling, um, the baloney that they were teaching him is shockingly worthless. Uh, one of the teachers was mixing religion with history and uh, talking about the Second World War and Jesus and the, the flight of um, Mary and Joseph um, with baby Jesus. How that worked in with uh, World War II would definitely confuse children. And before you ask, yes, my daughter called the school superintendent about this teacher mixing religion in with uh, her class of history. Evidently, they're going to change the names of different uh, schools because they were named after scientists. I thought, man, things are just getting out of control. There's an old movie uh, with Richard Burton called 1984, and I think you guys should watch that movie. It's where the term Big Brother comes from, the original book by H.G. Um, Wells, I believe it was, about a perpetual war to probably just keep control of the people and the population of the people low, and how they rewrote history. And uh, made people what they called unpeople, like they never existed, wrote them out of history. Kind of like what they're doing with these name changes and statues being removed from um, different parks and public buildings. And also, I think you should look up the uh, scientific uh, research called the rat syndrome and what is coming for the world's population as it continues to grow. And we're already seeing the signs of the collapse, um, what was described in the rat syndrome. And I know that the government knows that and they want to decrease the world's population. So my concern right now, the next foreseeable future, uh, would be a war. Um, like I said, no sitting president wasn't reelected ever, ever in history. Um, during a time of war. So I worry that we got a war coming somewhere. Anyways, this one will definitely ban. It might get me kicked off of YouTube. Um, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.